Hey, I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly install a custom ROM on your Galaxy S5. Now make sure you guys are rooted. If you're not rooted, go ahead and check an annotation somewhere here on the screen and also a link is provided down below in the video description for you for a proper step-by-step -step guide with a video guide on how to properly root the Samsung Galaxy S5. So here it is. So once you guys are rooted, you need to go ahead and transfer a custom ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my file manager. Um, let's go ahead and go to my files. I'm going to go ahead and tap on device storage, which is also known as internal storage right here. And as you can see, we have my custom ROM right here. Now you can't go ahead and, and download any custom ROM for, for any device and just surprisingly make it work. It has to be the proper ROM for your proper device for the Galaxy S5 variant. So if you have a Sprint Galaxy S5, you have to go to the, you have to go to the Sprint XDA forms and download it. Don't worry, I'll have a, a article linked down below for everything that you need for the proper links for Sprint variant, International G900F variant, T-Mobile variant, uh, Canadian variant, all that good stuff. It will all be in detail down below within that article I'm going to go ahead and write up for you. Um, so in my case, I'm going to go ahead and flash the Alliance ROM for my T-Mobile Galaxy S5. So it's already downloaded. Make sure you just keep it in zip file. It it will come download in zip file so just keep it on in zip file don't unzip it so once you have it downloaded onto your galaxy s5 and you can download it directly to your galaxy s5 or download to your computer then to your galaxy s5 by transferring it via usb um, but either way is fine so let's go ahead and now power off and we're gonna go ahead and enter into recovery mode now if you guys didn't know this will wipe everything off of your phone music apps app data contacts uh, wallpapers, all that good stuff. So make sure you do back it up before you actually go ahead and proceed any further. Um, so we're still waiting for it to back up. As you can see, the back lights are still turned on. Um, I don't know, for some reason, the Galaxy S5 does take quite a bit longer than the Galaxy S4 to properly turn off. Um, it's a little bit weird. Um, I don't okay. Um, okay, so it looks like it did turn off. Um, so the back lights are turned off. So now we're going to go ahead and press the volume up home button and power button all at the same time. So press all three and just keep holding until you see a blue screen. So just keep holding, you'll see a blue screen right there at the top and that means you're entering into recovery mode. So let's give it a few seconds to boot up and we'll, well, we're almost done, we're halfway there. So as you can see, I'm actually running on Phil's Touch Recovery, which is basically based off a of clock or my recovery right there. Um, so um, if you guys did use my root method, this is how yours will look like too. You could be using TWRP Recovery, which is very similar, but does look a little bit different. But either way, this guide should still help you out, uh, not really mattering on which recovery you're using. So we're gonna go ahead and first wipe data slash do a factory reset. Now before, like I told you earlier, this will wipe everything off your internal SD card, so make sure you back up your photos, music, movies, apps, app data, contacts, anything that you don't want to be lost, transfer it to your computer before you actually go ahead and, and, and install a custom ROM. And I'd also recommend you do an Android backup. So doing an Android backup is just easily as going into backup or in store and backing it up. If you guys don't know what an Android backup is and you want to see a more in-depth detail an Android backup procedure for the Galaxy S5, I made a separate video somewhere linked uh, on the in the on the screen or linked down below. But that is not for this video. We're gonna go ahead and do wipe data slash factory reset. We're gonna go ahead and do wipe data slash factory reset. Now it gives you an option to do a clean install of a new ROM. I would not recommend you do that just for safety purposes. Just do wipe data slash factory reset. Go ahead and select yes. And it's go it's gonna go ahead and do a factory reset, remove app data, apps, music, all that good stuff. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so it is now done. It says press any key to continue. We're just gonna go ahead and tap on the screen. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose wipe cache partition right here. We're gonna go ahead and select yes. And make sure you do this every single time before you install a new custom ROM or you will get stuck in a boot loop, which is never a fun thing to do. So make sure you do this before ever installing a new custom ROM. Okay, so that is done actually. So it only took a few seconds. It says press any key to continue. We'll just go ahead and tap on the screen. And now we're gonna go ahead and tap on advanced right here. We're gonna go ahead and wipe down the cache right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and select yes. And boom, there we go. It says what I dollar the cache wiped. We're gonna go ahead and go back, install zip, choose it from SD card. Um, also, there's uh, there's a place called storage slash SD card one. That's my external SD card. You can go ahead and transfer it to your external SD card two if you do prefer that. For me, I prefer doing it in my internal SD card. It goes much more quicker since I have a slow ex external micro SD card. So we can go ahead and uh, select from SD card, which is the internal memory. 
you can go ahead and tap on that. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it does say Alliance ROM right there, dot zip. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Go ahead and select that. And it says, we're gonna go ahead and select yes to install it. And it's gonna go ahead and install this new TouchWiz custom ROM for the Galaxy S5. Um, you can go ahead and install a wide variety of custom ROMs, CyanogenMod, Paranoid Android, AOKP, and even ROMs based off of TouchWiz as well. Um, it really just depends on which developers will reach which ROM when for the Galaxy S5 variants. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll link them down below for the proper place, but this will take a few minutes to actually properly install, so I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so now it's properly done. It says press any key to continue once again. We're going to go ahead and just tap on the screen, and now we're going to go ahead and select go back right here we can actually go ahead and double tap that and now we can go ahead and select reboot system now now if you didn't do the factory reset partition wiping partition cache and wiping down the cache you will run into a boot loop but since we did that properly we shouldn't be running into a boot loop now since we just installed a new custom ROM this boot up will take about five minutes in total um, if we're running on touchways in about May, probably five minutes too if you're running on an AOSP ROM as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up for about five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so now you'll be at this startup screen just like before. Now by default, it might show like uh, English, Philippines, or whatever. You can go ahead and properly select your language. So for in my case, I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna go ahead and select English, United States. I'm gonna go ahead and start this all up. You can go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi network and all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all of this just to show you that we are actually running on a new custom ROM. Um, so go ahead and skip all of this. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a few seconds. Just go ahead and let it finish up. Here we go. Um, and as you can see, we're storing on TouchWiz since this ROM is still based off of TouchWiz. It's a base, it's a TouchWiz based ROM. We're gonna go ahead and go into settings. Um, as you can see, everything is all wiped. All my apps are gone. All my wallpaper is gone. All that stuff is gone. We're gonna go ahead and go down here, all the way down to about device. And you'll be able to see right here, it will say, okay, yep, there it is. So look under build number right there. It does say Alliance ROM right there, G900F. So there you guys go. That is how you ins properly install a custom ROM onto the Galaxy S5. Like I mentioned earlier, click on the link down below for the proper places to download for the uh, your proper Galaxy F Galaxy S5 variant. Um, but that's it, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom, bottom left-hand corner right there. And don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which is also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.